Hello family, our movie starts with a young man being questioned by police because he made a mistake. His name is Jamal Malik, and he comes from a Mumbai slum and has a low education. Jamal participated in a television quiz called Who Wants to Be a Millionaire India with a total prize of 2.1 billion rupees. He was able to answer all of the questions because the police make them feel really valued. They continue to question Jamal, daring him to accept it. Then Jamal began to tell his life experience to explain how he could answer each question on the quiz. Jamal began to tell his mother and older brother Salim about his youth in a colony. He was in a public restaurant room operated by Salem's company one day. From within the toilet, Jamal learned that idol actor Amitul Bakken would be visiting his city soon, and because Salem was upset at Jamal for taking too long to defecate, causing his clients to abandon Salem, Salem decided to lock Jamal in the toilet. Jamal, not wanting to miss out on meeting his idol, chose to leap into the puddle of human waste, causing the smell of human waste to arise. But because of the stink, Jamal was able to meet and obtain the idol. Well, the incident turned out to be related to the quiz questions, and Jamal was able to move on to the next question. However, Jamal found it difficult to answer the next question about the foundation of the state, and Jamal decided to seek assistance from the audience. Even the police did not believe Jamal could not answer the question because he should be a good citizen. Of course, Jamal must comprehend the fundamentals of his own country. Jamal then asked the police about the robber who stole the bicycle at JHU, which produced confusion and did not know about the occurrence, but all of the citizens of JHU City were aware of the theft incident thanks to him and the audience's assistance. Jamal was able to proceed to the following question. Following then, the story continues when Jamal's mother, who died due to the struggle between Hinduism and Islam, managed to discover themselves. Jamal saw Lord Rama, who was carrying a bull and an arrow in his right. Again, the incident managed to propel Jamal to the continuous game final. He just won $16,000 for his efforts. After the fighting, Jamal and Selim had to survive without their parents. At the time, they met a female acquaintance named Laka, who had also survived the fight. They must be homeless and live in a garbage dump until they are raised one day by a guy. They initially thought Mammon was a decent person, but it turned out that Mammon primarily worked with homeless children by begging and singing. A few days later, they discovered that Mammon was so terrible that he was willing to blind children's eyes in order to gain more money. Knowing this, Salem instantly ordered Jamal and Laka to flee the house Jamal and Salem managed to flee by riding the train. Unfortunately, Laka was apprehended again by Mammon, who saw that Jamal wanted to aid Laka at first. But Salem grabbed Jamal and begged him to stay on the train. Jamal was able to correctly answer questions again because of his experience as a beggar. They became hawkers in the carriage to survive until they were banished one day and arrived at the Taj Mahal. They become unlawful tour guides for tourists at the Taj Mahal. Not only that, but they also steal other people's shoes in order to profit from as a tour guide for tourists. Jamal is knowledgeable about the United States dollar. See Benjamin Franklin. Years later, Jamal started to hunt for El Aka till he met one of his pals who worked for Mammon. His acquaintance informed him of Laka's locations until Jamal was able to locate Laka, who had become a comfort woman. Mammon noticed Jamal's presence, but Salem carried a pistol and was able to assassinate Mammon. So the three of them escaped from that event, and Jamal was able to answer the host's queries concerning firearms and Samuel's cult has played the game. Salem visits Jeff, a mafia lord who is Mammon's opponent. After successfully killing Mammon, Salem went to work with Jeff. Jamal, on the other hand, appears to be removing his longing for Laka, and he tells Laka that he will not forget all the memories he has encountered. Soon after, Salem arrived and urged Laka to work with Jeff, but Jamal refused and told Laka to accompany him as a result of his reluctance. Celine expelled Jamal because he was deemed. Each day passed. Jamal was getting older until he got a job in a call center. Jamal eventually obtained Salem's phone number and called him right away. Then Jamal ran to Salem and inquired about Laka. Salem claims he left Laka at Jeff's house to serve as a slave witness. Jamal was furious with his brother and refused to forgive him, despite his feelings for Jamal. Salem ultimately tells Jamal that he must live with him. The next day, Jamal was even more surprised to see Salem, who had converted to Islam, and hugged him. Salem is seen pleading to Allah for pardon for his crime as he becomes disturbed. Jamal surreptitiously follows Salem till he reaches a house, which appears to be Jeff's from the outside. Jamal observed a woman, who turned out to be Laka, and in order to enter the house, Jamal disguised himself as a dishwasher. Once inside, Laka immediately recognized the man in front of her eyes as her little friend. Jamal. They also talked, and Jamal planned to invite Laka to flee. However, Laka declined Jamal's invitation. Jamal then told Laka that he would wait for her at the station at 5 p.m. Short story. Laka arrived at the station, but before meeting Jamal, Salem and his men pursued her and brought her back. 
Jamal, who witnessed her, attempted to assist Laka, but his efforts were futile and Laka was returned to the quiz show by Celine. A quiz presenter approached Jamal, who was in the restroom to clear his head. Jamal, on the other hand, argues that he does not want to be a millionaire. Before leaving the restroom, he just wants to see his little friend Laka. The next question was answered by the presenter. The event then resumed with cricket-related questions. Jamal employs the 50 minus 50 facility, which implies that two replies will be provided. One of these has to be correct. Jamal then remembered the presenter who offered an answer while in the restroom. Because Jamal knows the presenter is not a good guy, he went with another option. Because Jamal had extremely good fortune, that response was successful in moving Jamal to the next stage. And the final question will be answered the following day. The presenter, on the other hand, had prepared for Jamal to be caught and detained by police for allegedly committing fraud. They finally accepted Jamal had not cheated on the quiz after being probed by the police and hearing all of his stories. The police released him so Jamal could compete in the final night of the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire quiz for a reward of 2.1 million. Meanwhile, Laka, who had been watching Jamal on television, touched Salem and urged Laka to flee with Salem's car and mobile phone. Hearing this, Laka hastened to depart. However, in the middle of the journey, Laka became caught in traffic and chose to observe Jamal from the side of the road. The final question is that Jamal still has one option, which is to phone a buddy, and he also utilizes that occasion to call Salem Laka, who observed this and instantly ran over and grabbed up that Jamal was overjoyed since he had heard Laka's voice without realizing he had received no response from Laka. As a result, Jamal chose to answer carelessly, but the response was correct, and Jamal became a billionaire. I have to give you the right answer. Jeff, on the other hand, was enraged and immediately went in search of Salem, which he was about to do. Salem, knowing he will be slain, promptly prepares a gun to murder Jeff. Fortunately, Salem was able to shoot Jeff before being shot dead. As a result, they both died on the spot. Jamal ran to meet Laka at the station they had agreed to meet after finishing the quiz. And at the station, Laka stated that she will be with Jamal from now on. This is how our movie ends. Leave us a comment on how you found this movie recap. See you in the next movie recap.